Hi, welcome. Um, this is going to be another video that we're going to put in the Calamari series, which means it's number 29, but it's um, still an experimental one. It means that you guys should try it out. And I'm trying to try it out in VirtualBox first, and that's the best thing to do always like that. And it's all about encryption. On the forum, People said, okay, Eric, there's a, I've made a video how to encrypt uh, with Calamaris, but it seems to be slower than the one and they compare with Antergos. So that uh, set me thinking and I went to, to Google and, and learn and watch videos and watch uh, read articles and so on. And I came to the conclusion that the Calamaris installer is um, the way I install it in the other video, so crypt setup works, the encryption works, but if you do it like this, let's show you, it's always more easy to show. So you can do this and then I do an encrypt system and then I type my password and go. That's gonna work, so that's the other video that's gonna work. Um, but, so it ends up in a, to a system where you boot up around 50 to 15 to 18 seconds. And um, that made me think maybe we should not stick to the automatically and go for a manual partitioning. So that's what we're gonna do, a different kind of partitioning. And if you don't see anything here, use the magic button. Yes, it is there. Okay, free space. What we're gonna do is create everything, well, not everything, but we're gonna create things manually. And 500 megabyte or even 400 megabyte is gonna be enough for our boot. That's what, what we're gonna do different than the other video. We're gonna say that our mount point, the boot, is not going to be encrypted. Not. And X2 as boot up. Not encrypt. No flags needed, 500 megabytes, all set up. That's that. And the rest of the space, that we are going to encrypt. The rest is root, home, and of course you can make it even more difficult, but I haven't tried it yet, to make a root and a home separate. Now let's show you this first. Um, I'll do that what if later, if that works. So we get a root, a mount point, X4, encryption, yes, nice password, fine. And then you go ahead. And then you go and um, change these things. Let's check, X2, boot, lux, slash, go, right? Then they say, and that's of course a matter of opinion, uh, you can read about that online, I suppose they're right, eh? but the point was fast reboot, right? How to get a system that boots up faster. A separate boot partition was set up together with an encrypted root partition, but the boot partition is not encrypted. There are security concerns with this kind of setup because important system files are kept on an unencrypted partition. Yeah, the boot partition, right? You may continue if you wish, but file system unlocking will happen later during system startup. So after grub. Well, in our first video, we saw, we didn't see our choice, our, our nice Vimix grub with the colors, the blue colors, right? We did not see it. It's after the password that we see it. In this video, we'll see the password come up after grub. That's the difference. And that's why it's faster to boot up. Okay, what's your name? Like I said, um, try this out. If users confirm under the video, Eric, it's not beta, it's working then it's fine by me. But somebody should really test this on uh, not only in VirtualBox, but also on real metal to see if everything works. Even if it's as fast as uh, booting up normally. Here on my machine, Articonix boots up in eight seconds. So if I try this out on my laptop later on, it should boot up as fast, let's say eight to 10 seconds, right? There must be some margin for all the encryption, but it should boot up. Uh, quite fast. Let's pause the video here. All right, um, 
I just restarted it said done uh, forgot to press record here so some messages newly installed computer you know how this and then we boot off from the existing OS so we've installed it we reboot we use the ISO this is normally not done I mean this is normally not not uh, the way in the other video it's not like that let me shut down my uh, all my communications here so we don't see these pop-ups that's that so again the other video we encrypted our calamaris of we via calamaris we encrypted our system and we encrypted everything so also the boot which means when you boot up you don't see the colorful group grub uh, it's before that that they ask the password here it's after the grub they ask the password in this setup and now we're gonna count right so when you type in your password and you start zero one two three four five six seven eight and it's normally in eight seconds that i should boot so here when we set it up like this it's no difference between a encrypted or a not encrypted system so i think um, if it works on your end as well and in the meantime while i was making this virtual machine here I popped in the USB on my other computer and exactly the same thing happens. So I do think it's not a beta thing or anything. It's just going to work depending if you have this way, if you set it up like it's uh, like this in Calamaris, it's going to work. So which leaves me with another what if, uh, what if I use also a home partition later on, but that's for another video.